Hey guys, Misto here, and welcome to a new season of the 100 Day Challenge, starring Windy, the Bereaved. So, we're gonna go ahead and hop into it, start picking up our basic supplies while I discuss Windy and my experience on this character. So, let's jump in. Alright, so as you see, we start the game with Abigail's Flower. Uh, now, this is what will allow us to summon our sister to our aid. And of course, in our first couple of days, we need to get our grass, sticks, and flint. These are going to be our most important things. Uh, we want to get enough flint to create a machete and an axe on this island. And we have two rocks here, so we should be able to get plenty of both of these. Uh, we're not going to pick up any shells or flowers just yet, although a garland is exceptionally powerful on Windy. Uh, let's take a look at our stats while they're mostly full. As you can see, we have exactly average stats. We have the same stats as Wilson. So, how is this character different exactly? Well, we do 25% less damage. And that is actually a huge break point. Really, really big balancing point. Like, if, uh, if you create a boomerang on any character, you can kill birds or rabbits, or in the case of shipwreck, crabbits for uh, very cheap and easy food. You can get 10 morsels if you're killing rabbits or crabbits and I think about an average of seven, five or seven morsels from uh, birds if you're killing them with a boomerang. But we are unable to do that as this character. And uh, but that is, that is actually our only downside as this character. We, you know, perfectly normal stats, but a little weaker. So what are our upsides? Well, we lose sanity uh, slower than any other character, at a rate of 25% slower, in fact. It's actually been mathed out that if you wear a top hat during the night, you will not lose any sanity if you're playing Windy, which is extremely powerful. That uh, means one top hat will cancel out the sanity drain from every night, and if you wear it during the day, that will help you recover an immense amount of sanity that uh, you would lose otherwise on any other character. So sanity management is not a huge issue. I figured this character would be a good follow-up to Maxwell, where we could completely ignore sanity and still survive. Uh, I didn't want to jump into the water and play someone like the Strongman, who would require me to actually remember how to do sanity management. So this is dipping our toes back into more fair characters. Now, I, I do believe that Maxwell is just a little too strong for Shipwrecked. His sanity regen is crazy. But I have also heard that Windy is insanely strong for Shipwrecked as well. The difference being, I have a few hundred hours experience playing Maxwell. I have played Windy one time since I bought the game many, many years ago. Uh, it was when I unlocked her the first time. Played her for like two days and was like, nope. I can't deal with not being able to kill uh, birds. That's That's been my main source of surviving as uh, Wilson. So I'm going back to Wilson. And uh, we've gotten our four uh, palm leaves, so we're going to make our thatch patch. We don't need it quite yet, but it's always good to get. Uh, this is enough wood to last us for a while, so we're just going to focus on picking up materials, going up here and trying to uh, make sure we're not missing anything important on this island. Uh, we might find one more flint, but we don't need it. We have just enough to make our machete. That'll let us make our boat, and we can get out of here on day two now. Oh, and of course, there's one more benefit I didn't mention. Well, I hinted at it, but we didn't actually say. So we start the game with Abigail's flower. I can sense Abigail's presence growing stronger. And uh, this item allows us to summon Abigail, who is Wendy's sister. And Abigail is the reason that Wendy... Ooh, sorry about the screen moving like that. I need to turn my mouse, my mouse wheel onto scroll lock. As, um, Abigail is extremely good at killing basic enemies. So, spiders, snakes, ooh, and this, this I believe has a snake in it, so we're gonna try to avoid that one. But, uh, Abigail is obscenely strong, and do we, we don't have enough bamboo on our starting island, do we? There's only three. What? Seriously? 
we're not gonna be able to make a um a log raft are we we need four of these oh that's a rip off that means we need to make the slower boat i've never had an island with this little uh starting bamboo it is four right yeah all right so we can actually not make that let's uh, go ahead and make our log raft then and hop off of this this is the worst starting island ever yeah so um Abigail. Abigail is powerful at killing these very weak mobs, especially ones that can be stagger locked. While uh, her power, her power changes throughout the time of the day. So she does 10 damage per attack during uh, daytime when the sun is up. Uh, during the evening hours, which we're about to enter, the darkness will be here soon. I must prepare. Uh, during this hour, Abigail will be doing 20 damage a hit, and then during the dead of night, she will be doing 40 damage a hit. Now, why? Why is she so insane against enemies that can be stagger locked? Well, she has an AoE attack. So if you summon out six spiders from a tier two spider den, she can stagger lock all of them at one time. That's absurd. And then you kill all of them in however many hits, depending on your time of day, and then you get all their goods. And you don't even risk being poisoned because they aggro and only attack Abigail. So you just get to pick up the loot. She is basically a uh, character that summons her sister and says, do this for me, I don't want to. But uh, there are many, many ways that we're going to try to exploit our sister in uh, this playthrough. For example, uh, we don't take damage from killing jellyfish. Now on my previous playthroughs, I've mentioned how I love jellyfish as a food. You can kill them on almost any character and profit because they deal 5 damage per hit if you attack them with a basic axe on any other character except for Wendy or Wes, anyone who does reduced damage. Then they die in 2 hits, and if they die in 2 hits, you take 10 damage, and by eating them you heal 10 HP. So it's just free food. Now uh, we're gonna hop onto this island, we're gonna make a torch, and we're gonna go around and pick up any grass and sticks that we didn't get during the day and this will this will let us be a little bit more productive actually we picked a lot of these are we just gonna run over areas where we already did yeah yeah we are oh that's sad here we go we can uh, we can get a little productivity going this evening um, for the first few nights you really want to be uh, useful you want to not sit down like you start with a full stomach so during each day I believe you lose uh, 68 or almost 70 hunger like we'll we'll be able to map that out later we're currently at 63 we're not quite a full day and uh ooh, snakes are out in the boot the oot in the boot oot in the boot eh so uh yeah so we we don't need to eat until you know the end of our second night so we can just keep keep on rolling try to be a little productive night's about to end our torch at 28 percent and we'll go ahead and save that. I considered letting it burn out. That's how that sentence began. We're going to let this torch burn out. But uh, I decided that... Ooh, the saving lag. I decided that we'll save it. Uh, we might want to prototype a boat lantern as soon as we find gold. And 25% uh, torch is as good as 100% torch. Some would even argue it's better. You know, that's his life choice. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. That's what we're doing here on this channel. So... We're gonna go out exploring. Uh, here's a watery grape. No, it's a gunpowder barrel. Ooh. All right. So, yeah, if you attack that, it explodes. Or if you have the tiger shark come around here, he can attack it and it'll explode. Uh, we don't really have a use for that, so we're gonna keep on moving. Uh, our strategy right now is we're gonna be surfing around the uh, shallows near our starting island and hope that these shallows connect to another island. That's the easiest way to find land. Uh, shallows always connect to either coral or an island. Uh, the only time I have been tricked by that was documented in Maxwell's playthrough. We found some shallows that led to a one by one coral biome that had no coral or seaweed or anything. It was just the map tile. Weirdest gen I've ever seen. But, you know, most of the time, most of the time, it looks like we're not going to get our wish. This is curving back around. So I say we just go with this. Here's some. Here's a shoal over here. We're just going to go with the waves. Uh, there is a slight benefit to joy. 
There's a slight benefit to um, the log raft that has more HP. Uh, but I don't actually remember the rate at which the starting rafts lose uh, durability. Because there is a rate at which they lose durability just for riding them. As you see, we haven't been hit, but we're down to 117. This is leading us to shallower waters, so we're going to come in this direction and hope it pays off. We're seeing tons of jellyfish. These are great. We can always come back and kill them with Abigail. But there will always be more jellyfish. Unless we just got really lucky in some previous playthroughs. So, we're going to be looking for gold. That is the number one priority in any shipwrecked, in any shipwrecked game. In any, uh, in any Don't Start game, you need that to start teching up. But in shipwreck especially, it allows us to get a better ship, which will let us explore so much faster. Ooh, Abigail is actually already ready to be summoned. This is very, very fast. Uh, it's like within two to four days. I don't know what dictates it exactly, like how many days. But, uh, yeah, so she's ready. Because we see it's uh, levitating in our inventory. and It'll levitate when we put it on the ground. So to summon Abigail, we have to sacrifice 50 sanity. 50 sanity. But we summon our really crazy strong sister to uh, protect us from all the big bad things. Man, this is why I like finding the easy island. Like, we have a bad gen here. This playthrough could end before the first video just because we're not finding any land. Uh, that has happened sometimes if you just get really unlucky with finding your islands. Like, you end up sailing between them, and it's just a mess. So we're going to go and look as best we can and hope that we can find some land because we need to settle down. Uh, we're not Maxwell. There are some shallows. This could lead us to land, and this could be our new home. This could be our new home. Let's find out, guys. Uh, more so than anything, we just want to make a science machine. And here we see some uh, we see some jungle. That's a good place to get your early uh, your early gold. You can find a lot of gold rocks in here, but usually they're accompanied with monkeys. And there's a monkey, so that is a good sign to me. Except now that we already see the beach biome getting a little worried here we really want this first there we go all right monkeys and gold go hand in hand all right and we have not enough flint all right so we got to go get a flint now uh, there will probably be a flint no you don't monkey uh, no you don't so there will probably be a flint somewhere on this uh beachy biome and it will show up on our uh mini map over here so we're just gonna run down to it as we see it we're going to make our pickaxe, and we're going to go mine this gold over here. Now, uh, the uh, the monkey might try to take it from us. He's not near us right now, so we should be okay. We should be able to get everything, which will give us exactly enough to make our science machine. That might be more gold up there. Ooh, we got double gold. Excellent, that is more gold, in fact. Uh, we're actually one rock short of making our science machine, but that's fine. Uh, we can, of course, kill these butterflies for food. We can just run at them and control O. Oh, he's moving so fast. Ugh, got him. And we are... You know what? I think it's about time. Let's do our ritual. We can pick up a lot of... Um... Ooh, will the monkeys pick up Abigail's flower? No, come here and die. Oh, I think they will. He was running straight towards it. All right, so we can now eat her. And we now have Abigail. Now, I believe she will only attack hostile mobs, or mobs that we directly tell her to attack. Like, hey, this guy's bugging me. Take care of him. But uh, she should not attack these monkeys unless, uh, unless they attack us. Now, we might be able to do something like attack, and then Abigail will try to destroy him. And uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, he's, yeah, he's just fighting. He's not running. Ooh, and there we go. We even get some free stuff. Nice. So Abigail is very, very strong at killing these beginner mobs and there we go so we've just sicked her on them she's attacking them with her ghostly butt she is aoe as you see and yeah she's just annihilated three monkeys and a snake but uh we we don't need to kill all these snakes right now so let's get over to this beachy biome uh, we do want to check out this area over here make sure there are no uh water beefalo in there hiding um, but, you know, poop is not a big issue. It's not something that we are craving as a, as a windy. Uh, now, what I want to find as windy is spiders. We want spiders so that we can make our crockpot recipes. And this is looking nice. 
We just found a magma turf. We found some magma biome along with a rock. There's some more gold and here are spiders. Oh my. All right, Abigail, get him. Oh shoot. I just let him hit me. Oh no. Get him. Get him, Abigail. Abigail, get him. All right, and she's just wrecking him. She's not even doing anything. She's just like, I'm angry and red, and now you're all dead. Yeah, that just happened. And uh, let's go ahead and put a fire down right here. It's nice and green. This will let us uh, mine up this gold. And we already found our spider, so we're pretty good. In fact, if there are water beetles in there, we'll probably just stay here on this island until we fully tech up. Now, we have enough to make our uh, science machine. We just don't have our wood. We do need wood. Uh, let's go ahead and eat. We're going to cook off this seaweed. We can always get more seaweed. We want to make sure we don't accidentally eat it because right now we're having sanity issues because we did do our ritual. That means we're down 50 uh, sanity. But we need to pick up sea, uh, seashells soon. That'll allow us to make our seashell armor. It'll let us make an armored boat later in the game or at least prototype it to hold it around. And uh, we can walk away from our fire and chop these. That'll get us... Oh, they go in the inventory. Excellent. All right. So that'll give us tons of food. We are super, super rich. We'll cook these up. It'll be a productive night, and we'll start day three very, very soon. So we need to find a place on this island to put our science machine, because we need to research a shovel, as well as some better things. If we make our shovel, we should have enough to go ahead and make our uh, alchemy engine, and this will heal us up even. This food is amazing. Well, there we go. We're done. We're at full everything. We have tons of uh, we still have coconuts left. We have tons of meat. There's a lot of gold here. Uh, this is a good place to be. Now, we do need to go get some trees, so we're going to have to go back to that jungle biome. But I kind of want to just get a feel for how big this island is. Uh, it's looking like there's no water beef flowing there. We probably would have seen a sign of them, unless it's maybe just a tiny, tiny family. Uh, no, we're going exploring. Don't dig that up. All right. That, oh, man, there's just so much gold on this island. This is an excellent start as Wendy. Uh, this would be an excellent start on anyone, uh, and, but it did have our spiders. Now, we probably want more than one spider, like spider nest, because of how good uh, Abigail is at killing spiders. But, ooh, this is even thicker than I thought it was. This is pretty absurd. And uh, we can get all the flint in the world that we want. We're going to get even more digging up these gold piles. Here's another gold rock, because we have our uh, map, mini map on. And uh, this is going to break before it breaks. Oh, no, it didn't. We still have 3% tax on yeah, so we're, we're set. We gotta go get wood, make our science machine, start getting all this gold. We are in an amazing position. We even have our sister. Uh, we just gotta worry about our sanity. It is a little low. And uh, we'll, we'll be able to fix that eventually with top hats, but we don't want to go crazy before then. Like, actually crazy. So we're gonna go and make up another pickaxe before we start. Camera that, it breaks, and then keep on going. Maybe we can do this. Oh, man. Disclaimer, uh, as I play this, I'm not that used to having two characters that I'm kind of controlling. You don't directly control Abigail, but uh, there will be times that I refer to Wendy as Abigail in haste, in the moment of just talking. Uh, sorry for that in advance. It's just going to happen. But, uh, yeah. Ooh, is that a second? Oh, my goodness. I think we have more spiders. Now, will she destroy this nest if I tell her to attack it? Or if I just come here... I just come here, spider comes out, and then I tell her to attack it. Attack it! Take him down! And then all of them will come out, and she'll kill them, and we'll get all of the rewards. Although she's weaker now than she was this morning. But, uh, she does regenerate health. I believe it's 1 HP every second. And she has a 600 max HP, and there we go. We're starting to get our, uh, our silk. Now we need 8 silk for a top hat, I believe. Uh, 6? We only need 6 silk. So we are going to be able to get our top hat very soon. That's going to make Abigail a very, very sane girl. And this is a, so much bigger than I thought it was. We're starting to go very crazy. Uh, we might want to pick some flowers. Kind of not. Kind of don't want to. But uh, it is something that might have to happen. So let's go ahead and get these trees. Uh, Abigail will defend us against snakes, but we can still get poisoned if we don't pay attention while we're doing this. No poison snakes. No way. There we go. 
Now we have killed the monkeys. They are a source of food that we can very easily utilize as uh, Wendy. I didn't take into account how well I would go to kill the monkeys. That was not part of the initial uh, idea, my concept of how to play this. So we might actually build monkey huts with our bananas in the future. Now our early bananas, of course, we're just going to eat. Man, this is tremendous. There's another... There's a whole other uh, jungle biome just hiding in here. This is excellent. And here's some more spiders. Let's go ahead and uh, get these spiders dead. The faster we kill our spiders, the faster we're going to get our top hat. Abigail, get him! Sick him, girl! And then the other spiders come and she just handles it. And then we, uh, we come over here and pick this twig. Oh, no. Is she done attacking? Attack him! Attack him down! Take him down! Don't let him get away! Get him! Get him! Uh, okay. So we can't go too far away from her and just hope that she keeps fighting. And they will try to get them to eat if we uh, let them. Now, uh, maybe we should assist her more. I don't think she's attacking us. She's just hanging out, just being a ghost. Okay. She's just being a ghost. That's fine. Doing our ghostly things. Ooh. And uh, here's the first spider that we fought. They probably regenerated by now. Regenerated. Regenerated. And there we go. She's on a town. And we're just gonna stand here. What happens if I pick this way really close to her? Will that stop her from attacking me? Yeah, let's keep going. So we can do that. I'll come over and pick this one. Oh, she's still taking him down. And uh, we will know when she's low on HP. Her uh, entire uh, face will change during her neutral time. And here's some healing things. Some healing items. Er, but we don't have room for them right now. Now uh, we, can, we can go ahead and eat up these coconuts. Uh, these halved coconuts. And uh, yeah, we're starting to go crazy. This is looking like a good place to set up home. Uh, particularly down here, maybe? Down there? We're going to head down there. Uh, and there's more spiders over here. This is crazy. So we have, like, we have what we need. We have what we need on this island already. We're going to go ahead and do some teching up and then go out and explore. Because that's what we want to do this season. We want to spend as little time. We want to have as little downtime as possible. But uh, we also don't want to risk things too much. Because this is a... This is an endurance challenge, not like a race to do something very cool by day five. So we're gonna we're gonna keep on playing it safe. Let's look for a good place to camp here. Actually, we just don't want to be too close to our spiders. Although at night, maybe we do want to be close to them. Hmm, that's a concept. Now, if Abigail ever dies, we would very much regret being too close. I say let's. Oh, I just don't want to have Krishers at my base. Let's uh let's camp in this forest area because we can clear out everything here without having to worry about crishers. So we're gonna put this right here. Beautiful, amazing. We'll get rid of this stuff later, and this will allow us to start doing everything. Uh, we're gonna get a lot of rocks, so we're gonna make that for the night and even set it down. Let's go ahead and get rid of this giant tree here. Uh, Abigail is at her second strongest state right now which will oh there goes our axe which will let her really help us against um snakes and we really want to be productive in fact we're not gonna build that fire tonight we're gonna take up our torch and go attack uh, we want to try to fight during the night so we're gonna go ahead and make another torch uh, abigail's at her strongest so we're gonna run over to uh the spider we're gonna go to the left we're just gonna see how many spiders are over here and uh, we're going to start getting her fighting because she is very, very powerful right now. And I think, yeah, there are even more spiders. So we just come down here, put on our torch. Where are you at, spiders? Where are you at? Come at me, bros. Come at me. Where are you at? Where are you at? I hear you. And now we're hunting them. We're hunting them. If we just stand still, will they appear on our screen? Or no. No, they're just going to hide from us. They know fear. They know fear. Oh, there we go. Get him. Get him, Abigail. Get him. Get him, Abigail. Now Abigail's gonna crush him because she's super strong in the night. Yeah, there we go. We pick up the silk. We're up to three silk now. We got even more healing items. That was it. That was really sad. Just two. Two spiders. That's it. We'll have more spiders one day. But this has been an excellent episode one. 
We're going to continue trying to be productive at nights because we don't need a fire to keep our sanity up. If we make a top hat, we can just run around in the dark and do nothing. Yeah, get him. Get him, Abigail. Sick him. Take him down. Oh, not too sweet. But that's okay. She did a lot of damage the first one, I think. And, ooh, my coach is going. Go ahead now. Pick this up. Yep, she crushed him. She's taking this guy out. And look, he's a stagger lock. He's not even hitting her. She's probably lost a tiny bit of HP. And we can, I believe, use healing items on her. Yeah, we can. But we're going to go ahead and call it an episode. We're going to try to stick to our three, day, uh, three days per episode uh, precedent that was set in the first one. About 25, 30 minutes seems like a good episode length. So, guys, let me know how you think about the new video quality. We have updated our audio a lot. I'm putting a lot more effort into... Uh, editing the sound so that we have a much better quality video and uh you know it's a lot more work is going in this so leave a comment down below if you appreciate the uh improvements that we have made and give me any tips if you know any other ways i can improve in the future all right guys i will catch you in the next episode